Hello everyone and welcome to Need Buddy. Need 2020 is scheduled to take place on 13th of September 2020 and the exam will be conducted in offline mode with the help of OMR that is optical mark recognition based paper. It is witnessed that a lot of students get confused in the process of answering the answer sheet using OMR sheets. This is because a lot of students do not have any experience in giving answers on the OMR sheets. So in this video we will try to clear all your doubts regarding these omr sheets how to answer omr sheets and what exactly these omr sheets are let's start with the most basic but the most important question that is what is neat omr sheet neat exams are conducted in offline mode and it is optical mark recognition based paper so what does this optical mark recognition based paper means so it is a pre printed paper which contains bubble for each option given in your question paper and you need to fill in the bubble with the option of your choice neat omr sheet will be provided to the students in the exam hall along with the question booklet while While filling the neat OMR sheet, you should make sure that you mark the answer only in the OMR sheet and not mark the answer in the question booklet. OMR sheet contains some details that you need to fill. So for the neat OMR sheet, what are those details? They are your neat roll number in numericals as mentioned in the admit card, neat roll number in words with a running handwriting. This is not in block letters. Next, your name, your father's name, center number and name of the center. All right? So these are the details that you need to fill in the OMR sheet before you start filling the OMR sheet. Now, how to mark your answers in the OMR sheet? In the OMR sheet, for each question number, you will have four bubbles which will be marked as 1 2 3 and 4 which will represent the four options of the question which is in the question booklet now whatever option that you select you need to fill the bubble for that so you need to make sure that you completely darken the circle and you fill the entire circle and you can only darken one circle for each question so make sure of that so here are some of the errors that you might make when filling the omr sheet first of all you need to fill the entire circle the entire bubble should be filled do not half fill it or just mark it you need to fill the entire bubble so make sure that you fill the entire bubble next you don't have to tick mark or mark only the correct answer you need to fill the entire bubble so if you mark the correct option it the computer won't be able to read the answer so you need to completely fill the option all right once you fill the bubble you won't be able to change your options so make sure you fill the correct answer you cannot cross mark the bubble and then fill another bubble that will be incorrect more than two options could not be filled there is only one correct answer for each question and you need to fill only one bubble for each question and when you fill the bubble make sure that you are filling only within the circle inside the bubble only your filling should not go outside the circle computer won't be able to read that answer as well so make sure you fill only within the circle Other points that you need to make sure of is that you do not have any stray marks on the OMR sheet. Your sheet will be considered invalid in such cases. Your rough work should not be done in the answer sheet. You will be given space in the question booklet for the rough work. No changes are allowed in the answer once you have marked the answer. So you need to make sure you are perfectly confident about the answer before you mark the answer, okay? Neat OMR sheet will be inside the sealed test booklet. Make sure that you do not break the seal before invigilator makes the announcement to do so. Also, do not forget to compare the test booklet number with the number which is provided in the OMR sheet. So your OMR sheet's test booklet number and your test booklet's number should be same. Now the question comes, when should you fill the OMR sheets? You have to fill the bubbles for all the 180 questions in the OMR sheet so it takes you around 20 to 30 minutes to fill the OMR sheet. So while giving the exam you need to make sure that you finish your paper in 2 and a half hour and keep aside the 30 minutes to fill the OMR sheet. If you end up spending the entire 3 hours to solve the question paper and are not able to fill the OMR sheet it won't do you any good only the answers that you have marked in the OMR sheet will be considered for marking so there are two ways in which you can go about filling the OMR sheet first after every subject 
after you finish each section you can go and fill the omr sheet for 10 minutes or after you finish the entire paper you can keep 30 minutes aside just for filling the omr sheet finish the entire paper and then go and fill the omr sheet after that it is not at all recommended for you to go and fill the OMR sheet after each and every question because you end up spending a lot of time in that case. Once you start solving your question paper, you get into a flow of solving things. And if you break that flow just to fill the OMR sheet, it will take you some time to get into that flow again. So it's better if you finish the entire section and then go and fill the OMR sheet or if you finish the entire question paper and then set aside the 30 minutes to just fill the OMR sheet. You do as much as you can in the 150 minutes and then go ahead and start filling the OMR sheet. Those are some of the points that you need to keep in mind while filling the OMR sheet. We have provided a sample OMR sheet in the description box below. You can take print out of these OMR sheets and practice a few sample papers using these OMR sheets. So that when you go to the exam center, you are not very new to this idea of filling the OMR sheets. So that was all for today. Do like and share this video if you found it helpful and do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more such video ahead. Wishing you all all the best for your exams. Thank you.